Well, Mark, a bit of an experimental size, but it uh, didn't quite work. Um, yeah, there was there were signs that it could work, but we've just had a chat in the dressing room. Obviously, players haven't played together very much that's in that group and stuff, and it, with that in mind, I thought there was moments and definitely glimpses of good football. Like You can't complain about the way that they played, obviously having not played together, but you're right, it didn't it didn't quite work out, and in the end, we were a little bit flat second half when we really should have been chasing the game and, and trying to get a, a goal back, you know, so. The first seven or eight minutes were very encouraging, especially down that right wing. Yep, started really, really brightly and was really, really positive there was four or five really good balls went in the box a lot of opportunities to get uh, to get on the end of but again we're probably just that little bit unfamiliar and players didn't maybe make the right run or didn't gamble on it correctly and then I think if you notice Esh changed their shape slightly um, they sort of put two holding in front of their back four and made it very difficult to follow and then as soon as they got their goal they had it set up perfectly and it was really really hard for us to break down Yes, yes. Uh, I thought uh, I thought we played a good offside trap. We seemed to catch him a few times as well. Yeah, well, uh, three or four times second half, which keeps us high up the pitch as well because we get that ball and we get it back and going forward. So back line didn't do a lot wrong. Keep us at both ends. Probably haven't been tested enough and things like that. So um, generally speaking, there was again some positives from that. Um, just a shame that it really came down to the fact that we couldn't create enough chances to obviously score the goals to win the game. Yeah, uh, good to see uh, Eggy or you a uh, shepherd man. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, I wasn't here full time last year, so I didn't see a great deal of the lad play, but I was assured that he was excellent, and I thought he was a, a real difference mate in the first half. Um, give a lot of options, but I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want other teams to know what's coming. Yeah, exactly. Now, Tolo on Saturday, um, yeah. be more familiar lineup perhaps to start off with? M maybe, but uh, again, we've lost a couple on the bounce now, and there might be one or two there who've caught the manager's eye, so there'll be some discussions going on tomorrow night um, between the management group. And we'll see, you know, if there's maybe one or two changes that we need to make. Because to be fair, we weren't great against Burnley on Saturday, if we're honest with ourselves. Same sort of problems. So we'll have to have a look at it and see what's going to be best for the, the game in the hand. Yeah, I think it's probably uh, probably good for the side to be away for a change as well. We've seen that. <laughs> well, we've been here. It feels like, you know, feel like we've played about 15 games here already. And, uh, you know, and I think we're here twice again after Saturday. That's so, right, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, probably nice to have a break and, and go somewhere different. It might, uh, might do the trick. It might do. Okay, thanks very much, Mark. Yeah, no problem, guys.